outline how you would use a refraction experiment to find the speed of light in glass. The speed of light in air is 3 times 10 power 8 meters per second. You may draw a diagram to clarify your answer. Before we draw a diagram or write anything, let's first explain the experiment. In this experiment, we need a large sheet of paper. Then get a rectangular glass block, put it in the middle of the paper. This is a ray box, or any source of light that can produce a narrow thin beam of light. You can use a laser beam. You can use a torch and slit. Anything that gives you a narrow beam of light. Now let an incident ray to fall on the side of the glass block with an angle, not perpendicular. Now this light is in air. It's now going to glass. That's why it will refract inside the glass block as shown. Also when light goes out of the glass block, it will refract in the opposite direction because now it's coming from denser to rare medium. So this is what you will see, a broken light ray. And we must say here that this experiment must be done in a dark room, so you can see the light beam easily. Now this is the experiment, that's all. But we need to do some extra steps to make it easier to take our measurements. This is the incident ray and this is the emergent ray. Now we will get four pins. We will put two pins to mark the incident ray. These pins are named optical pins. And two other pins on the emergent ray. We can do nothing to the first refracted ray, which is shown as dotted arrow, because it is inside the glass, so we cannot put any pins there. But what we are going to do now is that we will draw an outline of the block to define exactly its place. Now we are ready to remove everything and change this experiment to just a diagram drawn with a pencil. Using your pencil, mark the position of each pin. Now remove the block. This is what you have. Your whole experiment has changed to a diagram on a white paper. Now we are going to connect our lines using a pencil and a ruler. This is the incident ray, and this is the emergent ray, and this is the first refracted ray. On one side of the rectangular block, we are going to draw our normal. So, this will be the angle of incidence, which is the angle in air, and this is the angle of refraction, which is the angle in glass. Now you can find the refractive index of glass. And if we calculate the refractive index of glass, we can simply find the speed of light in glass. So, let's see how to answer this question from the beginning. First, let's draw a diagram. You will draw a white paper, and this indicates the rectangular block. This is the ray box, which produces the incident ray. The glass refracts the ray towards the normal, and then away from the normal as it leaves the glass block. These are the positions of the pins. This is the normal. Then identify both the angle of incidence, which is the angle in air, and the angle of refraction, which is the angle in medium. Let's explain what we did. Using a ray box or a laser beam, let an incident ray to fall with an angle on the side of the glass block. Fix pins on the incident and the emergent rays. Using a pencil, Make an outline of the block. Draw the rays a normal and measure the angles of incident and refraction. Then find the refractive index. Refractive index equals sine the angle of incidence divided by sine the angle of refraction. After you calculated the refractive index, use the rule refractive index equals speed of light in air divided by the speed of light in medium. To find the speed of light in glass, the mark scheme offers four marks for this question. The first mark is for any idea of fine ray or beam shown into glass block. Also, if you mention use of pins appropriately placed, either they are shown on diagram or described as words. 
These are for one mark and this is our first mark. To mention that you will measure the angle of incidence and the angle of refraction. Either you say it or you correctly show it on a diagram. This is for the second mark and this is what we said here. The third mark is for mentioning the first rule of refractive index, which is sine i divided by sine r, or the opposite, sine r divided by sine i, if you use the other side of the block, which is from dense to rare. This is our third mark. The fourth mark of the question is for mentioning anything about refractive index equals the speed of light in air, divided by the speed of light in glass. To find the speed of light in glass. This is our fourth mark, and we got the complete four marks of the question.